Hello all, welcome to this video on microprocessor lab. Today I'll be talking about how to find the square root of a number using 8086 emulator. Now for this program, we'll be assuming that the input given is a perfect square. For this, we'll be using a technique called as repeated subtraction method. In this method, we say that the square root of a number can be written as sum of consecutive odd numbers starting from 1. Now what we do is, we will be repeatedly subtracting successive odd numbers from the given square number till it reaches 0. Now the step where we get 0 is the square root. And if 0 is not obtained, then the number is not a perfect square. We will see an example of how this technique is used to calculate the square root of 49 and 15. Now first case is that of 49, so the first odd number is 1, subtracting 1 from 49 we get 48, the next odd number is 3, subtracting 3 from 48 we get 45. This is repeated until the last step where 13 is subtracted from 13 giving us 0. Now this happened in the 7th step, so 7 is the square root of 49. Now in the case of 15, the same technique is used where the first odd number 1 will be subtracted from 15 which gives 14. The second odd number 3 is subtracted from 14 which gives us 11 and this is repeated. But in the last step we will see that 6 minus 7 is not giving us a 0 which means 15 is not a perfect square. Before beginning the program we will see what are the registers we will be using here. Now since the number I am storing is an 8-bit number, I will be using an 8-bit register. That is AL. BL will be the register I am choosing to generate the odd numbers and CL will be where I will be storing the counter. I will also use the 21H interrupt in order to display the result of this program. I'll use an instruction called as ASCII or just after addition after the subtraction operation is done. Now what it does is if it generates a decimal carry then the register AH is decremented by 1. I have done a detailed video of how this instruction works that is a 16 bit subtraction using Marsan. Kindly refer to it for more details. Now we will move on to the program. So I will begin with writing the assume directive which is telling the assembler that the code is divided into diff different logical segments and the name of that segment. So code is the name I have given. CS colon code. So the segment name is code, code followed by segment. Then I have given a label start to mark the starting of the program. First step I will be doing is clearing all the registers which means clearing both 8-bit registers that is in case of AX I will have to clear AH and AL in BX BH and BL and in CX CH and CL. The reason is here we saw that if there is a decimal carry then the register AH is modified. Similarly there can also be values from the previous calculations that is left out in these registers. So in order to avoid an incorrect output it is safe to clear the entire 16-bit registers. Now after that, the number whose square root is to be found, that is 25 in my case, is stored in the register AL. Then we will set the counter value to 0, which is CL. And the register that is generating the odd numbers, VL, is set to 1. So 1 is the first odd number. Then I am using a label called root in order to mark the portion of the code where I will be doing the calculation. There the first step is to compare the value of AL and seeing it if it is 0. Now if the value is 0, we will perform a jump to the label marked as 0. Now this jump is performed on the basis of the value of the 0 flag. This is because Compare is an instruction which is similar to subtraction but 
there won't be any result stored there instead the calculation will bring in some changes in the flag width values that is why we are checking the value of zero flag to know if the register al is containing the value zero now if it is not zero we'll perform a subtraction between al and bl bl is where the odd numbers are generated immediately after the subtraction we'll perform ascii adjust after subtraction in the next step we'll increment the value of the odd number each odd number has a difference of 2 in between so i'll add 2 to the register bl then we'll increment the value of counter which is keeping track of the number of steps then we'll perform a jump to the label root now these steps will be repeated until the value of al is 0 when al is 0 we perform a jump to the label 0 here then what we do is cl will be the register that is storing the number of steps as we saw in one of the examples before that number of steps will be the square root value so before displaying it i'll add a 30h to it so that it is displayed in its ascii form then i'll be using the 21h interrupt in order to display the result for this first i need to store the value to be displayed in the register dl then i'll move the function code 2 to the register ah which means it should display the character that is stored in the register dl then i'll call the interrupt 21h after this we mark the end of the code segment that is code ns and we'll mark the end of start end start First, we'll open the 8086 emulator. We have options for new files, code examples, quick start tutor, and recent files. On clicking the new option, we have different templates available, or you can have an empty workspace. This is the place where you are running your program. Since I already have the file, I'll be opening it, which is saved as .asm. This is the code I had explained before. Now we will press the emulate button. We will see which the window which shows the original source code. We have single step execution and execution in a single run. On performing the single run execution, we will get the result as 5 square root of 25. Now we have another option which is the step by step running of the program. So for that I will need to reload the code and then go for the single step execution. You can see the status of the registers here. You can see the yellow highlighter moving according to the instructions which is being executed. Just step wise. It ends with the same window as before, which will give us the result. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.